are so back, and I mean we because look who came back from Florida. Hi. Ryan is back. We gotta represent the obvious here. He just rode Velocicoaster. Yeah. And throughout the day, I'll be asking him several questions about what his trip to Florida was like. As we get down towards Boss, I'll start asking him some of the questions that I have for him. I should mention that we did Screaming Eagle and Rookie Racer first, and how was Eagle? First time riding a wooden coaster since you were in Florida. It was great. First ride was a little slow, but second ride was better. Second the back was a little bit better today. Oh yeah, I would say significantly better because the front was kind of mid, honestly. I don't think the front had any ear time. Yeah, there wasn't really anything this time. I mean, that was one of the slower rides I've had in a while, too. We're going to Boss now, and so, ready for your first couple questions? Sure. What is your current coaster count after your trip? 300 even. What was your 300th coaster? Airy Force One. He rode Airy Force One at Foot Spot Atlanta, which I think you're gonna make Velocicoaster 300, but. Oh, the new 2024 coasters didn't open. Yep, Phoenix Rising and Penguin Trap were not open for him, so he wasn't able to make Velocicoaster 300. But he still got what is, in my opinion, probably the second or third best option for 300. Next question How many new coasters did you ride? Seven. And how many total coasters did you ride? 25. You guys might have seen a vlog I shot from October 2022 where Brian had just gotten back from California and I asked him some questions about that trip. This is kind of something similar here. We're running that back. So what was the best new coaster you rode? The last coaster. And then the worst new coaster you rode? Probably Tron, but it wasn't a bad one. Yeah, there were no bad new coasters that he rode. Like all the coasters he rode were good. We just rode Boss. I rode it twice. Ryan rode it three times. Our first ride. Ouch. Yeah, we, it didn't feel good. They told us they needed to fill the train. So Ryan was in the second row. I was gonna ride row three, but given how I had a bad experience with row three last year, I took a chance and rode row nine. The first half was so rough. Uh, the first half for me was fine, but the drop off the last big turnaround was brutal, and that made my rib hurt for the Ouch. rest of the ride. And then we rode the front twice. So yeah, I he rode, rode it twice. Yeah, I rode it once. Rode that was way better. Yeah, I think I like it better than I. Icebreaker. Icebreaker is in his top 50, so I guess Boss broke back into his top 50 though with those other two rides. Speaking of it, your number one before this trip was Steel Vengeance. Did any of the new coasters you rode knock it down? Which ones were they? Velocity Coaster, Airy Force One, and Iron Guazi. Yeah, it's worth noting that Iron Guazi actually did it first, and then Velocity Coaster knocked it down further. And then Airy Force slid into that two spot. Yeah, although Iron Guazi said it was a very close margin between that and Vengeance for his number one. So if Voyage runs like really good, that's my number five right now. Yeah. If that runs very good, then Iron Glossy will be knocked to five. We'll be riding the Voyage at the end of July. I guess it's worth noting, so your top five as of now, but it's- Lost Coaster, Harry Force One, Iron Glossy, Steel Vengeance, Voyage. I would say that's a really solid top five. I feel like a lot of enthusiasts would say that would be a better top five than my top five, which as of right now is Voyage, Pina Ka, Top Little Dragster, The Incredible Hulk Coaster, and Lightning Rod. It's different, but that's my top five. We're about to ride Justice League. Brian, you're closing in on your 200. I have three more to go. Let's get us 200, then we'll take a ride on Mr. Freeze and see how that runs. Did a couple rounds of Justice League. I maxed it both times. Ryan got one of them. Didn't quite get the second one because apparently the blaster wasn't working too well for him. In the first screen. We were in car six. I didn't have really much issue with that. I mean, I tried tuning it with it. Like when we were halted in LexCorp, I shot at the second screen with it for a brief second and it worked well for me, so I don't know. Next time we get car six, he'll have to use the red blaster, which I broke, I think, 700,000 in that first screen with it. Now we're about to ride Mr. Freeze, which I know, Ryan, you're really excited to get back on this thing. Oh yeah, I love this thing. Still his favorite right here. And I do have a couple extra questions for him, but we'll get to that once we get into the here. Bro, Mr. Freeze is running so good. I don't know what to say about how good that ride was. It's so, so good. Yeah, still tap right here for you. We saw there's some people in line for the back row way down there. There's no one in line for the front, which is just wild. So we're like, hey, might as well take advantage of it. Yeah, at some point we do want to try the back, but man, that was nuts. We're in line for the back right now, and I think it's safe to say this thing is running better than you remembered. Oh yeah. Oh, my yeah, this thing is running so good. And that's a good tie into my next question I have for you. What are some of the coaches you rode that were better than you remembered? Because you got to rewrite a lot on this trip. Uh, Space Mountain. Oh, I just saw that. You rode the, you really rode the Alpha, alpha side. side. Um, Big Thunder Mountain. Revenge of the Mummy and Monty. That was the big winner of the trip. Monty? Yeah. In a previous vlog, you said Patriot was better than Monty. I'm like, no, there's Mon no way. Monty was like my second least favorite. Now I think it might be my favorite. Whoa, even over Alpine Guys? I think so. Holy cow. I mean, yeah. I definitely have it over Alpine Guys because Alpine Guys is a mid tier invert. Revenge of the Mummy, you haven't ridden that thing in what, 13 years? 
Yeah, it's been a long time since we wrote that one. Was it better than the one at Universal Studios Hollywood? Better theming. I assume the launch was better? The launch was better. Big Thunder Mountain. How was that one better than you remembered? It was your time, which I remember getting last time. The lateral was on point as well. And then the one I'm most curious about, Space Mountain. That was my first big coaster. And in the past, you didn't like that one. I did not like it as a kid. But now I really enjoy it. Yeah, you got one ride. I think you told me you did back row of the alpha, alpha side alpha and alpha. just crazy. It was amazing. Yeah, that jumped over 100 spots on your list. Yeah, pretty much. That and Montauk, I said, were the biggest winners. And then once we get off of back row, of freeze over here, guys. Once we get off of freeze here, well, see what coasters were the most disappointing for you. I think we both agree the front is more insane for today. But the initial part in the back is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. That invert top hack taken backwards in the back is just demonic. Pull out invert. Yeah. It you down. It's so intense. Yep. You may be wondering, where's Elvis? He's actually a Hollywood Knights and he actually just wrote Good Gravy's first first time. So let's take a look at his initial reaction to it. Good morning, everybody. This is Ellis Norwood reporting from Holiday World and for Hollywood Nights. As you can tell right here, this is Good Gravy right there the new roller coaster that they added to the park this year. I'm giving my initial thoughts on this ride. It's a really good boomerang coaster. I like the smoothness and it's way smooth the entire time and it never jerks you around ever. See, there it goes right there. It never jerks you around like boomerang does. So that's why when I go to Six Flags St. Louis, which is my home park, I barely ever get on that ride. Not only that, look at this theming out here. It's got a bottle over there, open box over there. Over there, you got a can that the coaster goes through. Don't forget the whisker that you mix up in the bowl. And not only that, the theming inside the queue is also really good. Like, I won't spoil it for those who haven't written it yet, but I'll just say the theming is really, really good in there. So, whenever y'all come out to Holiday World, I highly recommend y'all check it out yourself. So, with that being said, this is Ellis Norwood signing out. Hope you have a good day. It seems like Ellis enjoyed good gravy, which that's a good sign for us to be heading there at the end of July. And we're excited to try it out for ourselves. I'm excited to see how one of these family boomerangs will up. We'll also be doing what's the one in King Town called? Snoopy's Soapbox Derby or whatever? I don't know what it's actually called. Snoopy's Soapbox Racers. Or That's what I thought it was. We'll be doing that one at the uh, beginning of August. <laughs> He only got one ride on it because it was down like a lot of the morning he was there and it only had from 9 till 6 So not a ton of time at Islands of Adventure And I had both parts to get to in one day They had three trains going only one of them the soundtrack didn't work on and he got that train And it wasn't as intense as I remember either That might be a recurring theme you'll be hearing throughout the rest of the video with some of the other questions having to do with Hulk but yeah. It's unfortunate that he got a scuffed ride on it, yeah, but oh well. He got bumped down quite a few spaces. Yeah. So Maybe next time you'll get lucky. Anyway, let's actually get you your 200. Thunder now, and on our last ride, 
did go lock again, unfortunately. Yeah, the blue screen of weirdness. Any version of the blue, the blue screen, screen of weirdness. That's what yeah. this one's called. The second screen was acting up. It showed like some weird. It was like froze on this one frame and it was all colored all it's strange. It's funny because I still almost maxed it. Yeah, and the ride's now down because of it, which I mean, it's for the better. We're gonna see how American Thunder runs. We're gonna try it back first and then we're gonna go ride the front. coaster and worst overall coaster of the entire trip. Worst overall was Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. Yeah. Uh, I had to wait two hours for it. Yeah, it was between and that or Slinky Dog. You waited 40 for Slinky? Pretty much no force, but at the brake run, we started rocking the train back and forth. Yeah, I bet that must have been fun. That, that was the best part of the ride. Yeah, that? better than the actual ride. Yes. And then the best, I think it's pretty obvious. Velocicoaster. It was number one for a reason, so yeah. Oh my god. 
and then we did Batman Batgirl, which, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling it that time. Ryan said it was intense. Very intense. Uh, my foot kind of hurt because of the I wasn't really impressed by it, honestly. I think my ride on Monday was better. And we're about to ride Ninja now. But before we do that, I got to talk a couple of more What would you say the best non-racer ride that you did was? I think the line of passage at Animal Kingdom. That's one of the best things ever. It's so cool. I got to ride it three times, and I'm so excited. Rise of the Resistance is a close second, though. Yeah. And then, the worst not closer ride you did. Journey to Imagination with Big Bats. I don't know if there's any of you watching that or a huge fan of the but I feel like those people are out there, so. <laughs> if you are one of those people, please apologize for that. It's, it's one of the funniest things ever. This <laughs> just doesn't belong there anymore very much, because it's like the best part Disney has, in yeah. my opinion, but. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I haven't been on it, but I heard it's crazy. You gotta do it next time you go. I don't know, maybe. I don't know what the fuss is about it. And again, I've never been on it, so what do I know? One more thing about uh, things that Ryan Press here. It looks like it's on old school Zoma track. Yeah, like it looks like it's on the track that Ninja has back there, which I don't know. It's weird. I, it's not considered a coaster. Though. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know. We'll have to deal with there. Yeah, we'll have to deal with it. It's not considered a coaster. get some hate for this, but I thought Ninja was more intense than Batman for today. I grayed out at least two to three times on it, but Ryan, you thought Batman was better. Uh, I thought Batman had more intensity, but I grayed out on the loop and the Sidewinder on this. Yeah. For me, it was the loop, the Sidewinder, and even in the ending Helix, it got me pretty good too, so. I would say Ninja was better than Batman for today, and it's very rare that I say that, but then again, I didn't think Batman was very intense. So now I think we're gonna go check out, I think Scream and Eagle, maybe get another ride on that, and then make our way down towards Boss again. Scream and Eagle was, I think, the best of the three for the day by a decent margin. Would you say so? Oh, yeah. I will say it felt a little bit chilly out there in the trees because there was like no sunlight back there. But the airtime was good, pretty smooth. I would say I have no complaints about it. Next question for you What was the most ridden coaster or ride on this trip and the number of laps you did on it? Mako and Expedition Everest. Two way tie between those two, and how many did you get on both of them? Six. And then 
the best park of the trip? What was it? Islands of Adventure. Eating out Busch Gardens Tampa, which was my previous. I would say Busch Gardens Tampa is better, but who's the wrong? The operations. That's the true. Way. Iron Quasi Alps are dog water. They're way too slow. Wow, boss is stationary right now. I did not expect to see this. And then the worst part of the trip. Probably Fun Spot Atlanta, but that's a default. Excluding Fun Spot Atlanta, what would it be? I don't want to say Animal Kingdom, but... That's the one? I think so. There's no bad park you visited, right? No, there's no bad park. If Animal Kingdom had like maybe three more rides, then yeah. We're going to ride Boss now because it's literally a station wait, and I did not expect to see it like this. So let's give it a go. running furious today. So much better than it was earlier. Seasonally smooth, insane airtime. The big course on our first ride in particular, that one barely trimmed. So the second half felt better than a trimless ride, I would say, because it was ripping dirt like it was nothing. And then the train after us on our most recent ride, it came to a dead stop on the brakes, which it doesn't surprise me because the thing is hauling butt today. I think we're going down toward Reese now because we haven't been towards that area of the park in a while. on Mr. Freeze for today, and I think we're gonna ride Log Flume now, because why not? I think Brandon and I got the same amount of wetness on Log Flume. Brian's going over to ride American Thunder. I personally gotta start marathon at Justice League, because if I wanna hit 1600 at Six Flags over Texas, which I'll be doing in less than a week after this is being recorded, I need to get some rides in on it now, because I wanna get at least 1590, so that's less for me to worry about it over Texas. So, I think I'm like eight away, so let's get a start.
pretty tiring marathon and what is for sure gonna be my last visit to Six Flags St. Louis for the foreseeable future. But it was a good one to end on. Final ride count for me was 15 on Justice League, 10 on Mr. Freeze, four on Boss, three on Screaming Eagle, two on American Thunder and Rookie Racer, and then one on Batman, Log from a Ninja. What'd you get on? 13 on Justice League, 10 on Mr. Freeze, one on Ninja, Log Flume, Batman, American Thunder got three, Screaming Eagle, three, Boss, five. Is that it? You did Rookie Racer, I don't know. Oh yeah, I, I did that, that once. One in terms of highlights for today, I think I know what it is for me. What do you think it is? Freeze. Yeah. Oh my God. 10 laps on freeze. I haven't done double digits on that thing in a long time. I was getting my last rides on that thing before going to Six Flags over Texas, which I'll do there in less than a week. Boss is running good. Eagle later in the day was excellent. American Thunder was even running good. Overall, I would say everything we got on, besides Batman for me at least, was pretty solid. And before you click off this video, please make sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video and be sure to share it with someone else to me now. If you're new to this channel, like what I saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell so you can notify it every time I upload a video. I also have an Instagram account with the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well. Be the link in the description. As for my next vlog, I've said this multiple times, but it'll be from Six Flags over Texas, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you later.